the difference between stock market and Bitcoin. The main difference is the stock market is regulated and uh, companies that are listed on the stock market are scrutinized and they have to be, uh, they have to meet certain standard by Security and Exchange Commission and uh, Bitcoin doesn't have to be decentralized and nobody knows who owns it. So uh, no accountability in that regard for shareholders. Uh, well, let me, so uh, maybe not with- Can I finish? Y yes, you can. Please, can you thank, you. thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Yes. Um, uh, on the other hand, the uh, stock market is like, you know, we're trading equity, which means it's backed by demand and uh, asset. And uh, uh, when we look at Bitcoin, I don't even think it's an asset class. So that's also the main difference. So I'll move into the other statements that I would like to make. Uh, one thing you've said is the, the Bitcoin is robust and has never been hacked. Actually, five days ago on January 17, 30 million dollars lost from uh, the Bitcoin and Ethereum uh, together, and this is not the first time that happened. It's been happening uh, a few times in the past. Uh, going to uh, 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 the Bitcoin, and the, you're talking about mining in Ethiopia because energy is cheap, but we know that 60% of Ethiopians uh, live in the dark and they don't have electricity. So the main purpose of the dark should be uh, primarily uh, to for rural electrification and uh, for export. So uh, what would you say about like mining in Ethiopia just because it's cheap, it doesn't mean that the Ethiopian Electric Authority makes profit, but it's doing it so that you know the country develops and prosper, as you said. So uh, I would like to hear your comment about that. I think uh, I'm, I'm limited to one question, so I would like to respect that. Uh, <laughs> many more. <laughs> Thank you. Great question. Thank you, uh, Wazir Osab, I think. She's, she's well versed and well experienced in capital markets, so I, I expect that. Um, sure. I think uh, making the case that, you know, Bitcoin has been tampered with um, isn't completely true. So when we say that there have been hacks, uh, those hacks have come either through exchanges, right? So an exchange had a point of failure and the hackers were able to, you know, identify that point of failure and then, you know, take some money out, right? Or it's come because, um, I think the case from a few weeks ago was there were a couple in the United States, uh, they kept their password on a Google spreadsheet, right? So their password for their Bitcoin, right? And it was like billions of dollars of of, of Bitcoin that, that were hacked. And um, and of course you can hack Google, you can hack your Gmail account, you can get into your, your drive. So the idea that Bitcoin has been ha hacked is not completely true, but yes, the exchanges, some of those third party applications absolutely could be hacked. So, um, you know, retaining your, your keys, keeping them somewhere safe is a very important thing. Regarding capital markets, uh, yes, capital markets grow because of demand, but you might also make the case that capital markets grow because of in inflation. They grow because of money being printed. They grow because of cheap debt. They also grow because of stock buy buybacks, which I'm sure you know what they are. I strongly feel as though you know, it, it, it's a wrong way to, to produce market results. Right, when Apple or Google or all these companies do stock buybacks, it's, uh, it shows that you know, th th they don't have any confidence in their, um, in their product, right? Uh, because you know, mathematically, somebody else would have bought that, that stock, right? If there's stock floating, you know, people or pension groups or investment agencies should be the ones buying those those uh, shares, right? But instead, Apple's buying them because they have billions in the bank. They keep growing those billions. They don't really have, you know, interesting places to invest that R&D, right? Um, that money is depreciating 7.5%. So then they say, okay, let's do a stock buy, a buyback. And then that artificially, at least in my perspective, has the stock go up. So. I wouldn't necessarily make the case that capital markets are true when it comes to supply and demand. Now, can you make that case with Bitcoin? Yeah, I mean, there, you know, there are traders and there are different mechanisms of manipulating price. 
Um, but I, I do think that there is a demand for Bitcoin because of the scarcity principle, and, uh, and it, it's backed by energy. Um, now, it's a mindset, it's a thinking, it's a ideology, it's maybe, a, you know, it's a, you know, I've read different books than, than you have, right? And maybe, you, you know, there are Keynesians in the world that believe that, you know, printing money is good, right? MMT, Modern Monetary Theory. They believe you can print as much money as long as you can tax it effectively. Now, there are some mathematical problems with that. If you were to, you know, tax all the corporations in America 100%, if you took all of their profit, you're only left with about 2.5 trillion, right? But they're printing like three or four or five trillion a year. So you're never gonna drain all of the printed money out of the system, but, but we'll see, I don't know. So, so I think this is where we agree. Um, yes, if there is someone that doesn't have electricity, they need it, right? They need it to read, they need it to cook, right? Biofuels aren't, aren't very good, you know, I think that's why um, our age, uh, average life expectancy has been so low because coal and whatnot is just not good for the household, right? Um, so the idea that our electricity should be used for retail and households, you're absolutely correct. That requires infrastructure, that in requires more investment because the GERD is the GERD, right? It's producing energy. The next step is the hardest. The next step is distributing that energy through transmission lines, wadagatar. That is extremely expensive. So um, I s completely support that but you know, if, if there's other things we can do with that energy, right? Industrial parks might be one of them. Exporting that energy, four dollars might be one of them, and then mining Bitcoin might be one of them. But we all have priorities, so it, it, d it depends on you know who you are and, and and what your priorities are. But yes, people do matter.